What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. And in today's episode I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I've never done this before, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. And you probably know from the title, I didn't actually cut my hand, but I'm going to tell you what I'm actually up to. So a couple of weeks ago I wrote a script, and in the script somebody gets hit with an axe. So it's going to involve some special effects makeup, and this is something that I've always wanted to get into. So I bought myself some special effects scar and wax makeup and I'm gonna try and give myself a scar today or like a really kind of gruesome awesome cut so uh, yeah here's my setup so far like I've never done this before now okay so if you're here for a tutorial I'm sorry but this isn't the place and um, this is my first time ever doing this so it's probably gonna be terrible I've looked at a couple of tutorials online and uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a go because it's something I've always wanted to learn it's a skill that I could use for my filmmaking it's like I think it'll be something cool to get into as well you know so uh, I'm gonna give it a go so I'll tell you first what I have. This is Ben Nye Nose and Scare Wax. It cost me 9 euros online, I think it was. I think it was about 9 euros. I bought it from an Irish company. It was here within a couple of days. Uh, I have some Vaseline because you can't work with this without using Vaseline because it sticks to your fingers and stuff. So I found the smallest tub of Vaseline I could find, which is just so cute. Look at it. It's so cute. And uh, I couldn't find any clay tools, so I have a knife, fork and a spoon. <laughs> and some paintbrushes for when I start painting on the blood and stuff. So I'm just going to leave them here. And I also have this, which I've never used this before in my life. Uh, it's makeup that I got from my mother. It's like old makeup that she had. And you need this to blend in uh, the skin and stuff like that. So that should be interesting. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to Dave's makeup tutorial. Hi. Not really. I'm going to try and balance out like the girliness and the makeup with like a gruesome manly scar. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I might as well just jump into it. Uh, I'm just going to leave you here. I need a bit of tissue. Should be good. I'll take the Vaseline. Open it first, get a little bit of my fingers. So I'm gonna try and give myself a, a scare here on, my, on the palm of my hand. I'm just gonna roll this up first. Da, 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 da. I might have used too much, I don't actually know. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a scare, he, maybe here. Here, this be an okay place for a scare. Cross my hand like this. Oh, cool, it's already blending in, kind of. More Vaseline. I really have no idea what I'm doing, so... <laughs> there's probably, like, special effects people looking at this, just puking on top of their computers because it's been done so badly. Got, got to start somewhere, you know? I'm trying to blend it in a little bit with the corner of a spoon, which I, <laughs> I know I shouldn't be doing, but I don't have the tools, the proper tools to do it, so... Um, is my light not okay? Because it's kind of making my skin look a bit yellow. More Vaseline. Actually, I think I have enough. But yeah, if you want to buy that scar wax, I'll put a link in the description to where I bought it. And you can actually use it for just scar as well so like you can use it for like giving people fake scars on their face and things like that I'm just gonna blend this a bit more try and keep it in frame as well what are you doing man keep it in frame most important thing okay I think it's looking all right blending okay it's not the cleanest <laughs> okay this might be terrible now so I'm just gonna gonna run a line through it make it a bit jagged oh, blend it keep blending and pull it out here so it looks like it and I'm sorry YouTube if this is too graphic, uh, I did say in the thumbnail that I didn't cut my hand, so um, hopefully I don't get flagged for this. It's looking okay though I guess so far, I don't really know, <laughs> the, it really starts to come to life when you start to put on uh, the paint and stuff on it. Do you think it's time to start painting? It was way faster than I anticipated, it looks alright to me, and I'm gonna start painting it, why not? Oh hang on, should I give it some colour first? Okay. Here's a world first, oh, how the hell do I open this now? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I can't bend my hand because this is like gonna come off. Oh sh! <laughs> God damn! It, I should have opened this before I started. How the hell do I open this? Oh my God! <laughs> this is <laughs> this is stupid. Oh here! Oh, I have it! 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 There we go. Do I use makeup now? I'm so bad at this, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna use a small bit of this makeup if I can get it open. Will this blend in with my skin? I've honestly no idea. Oh, maybe I could use a paintbrush. So oh, harder with one hand. God damn it, this is so messy. Uh, I keep on forgetting that I can't bend my hand. Get out! There we go. Where's that makeup? No, that's looking terrible. <laughs> blend. Blending is your friend. Blend, blend, blend. I think I've made a balls of this, but anyways. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna start painting like I said I would like five minutes ago. Okay, I've got my little cork of water. Where are my paints? Oh, God damn it. 
Oh no, they're right here. I've got my sponges. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, I've come prepared. I've got some fake blood, which is actually called fake blood. Uh, and I've got my paints, my bloods. Get out. Now you can get some paints that are uh, that are alcohol activated and they're probably the best ones to use. Uh, I got these paints in uh, in like a two euro shop. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely not professional grade stuff, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. Here we go, dab a little blood in. It's not the reddest of bloods to be fair. Oh, I might just use the fake blood. Ooh, that's looking much better. Please don't spill. Are you gonna be okay there? This is probably sacrilege to like use the same brush for a couple of different things, but ooh, it's looking so much better already. Ah, it's looking sore. <laughs> okay. I wonder if my dad's downstairs. I could try and freak him out. <laughs> could this turn into a prank video as well? Ah, crap, there was something I forgot to do. Just after remembering it, you're like meant to put like the lines, you know, like the natural lines that you have on your hand. You're meant to kind of put them onto the clay as well so that it looks like, and I completely forgot about that. Now I kind of want to start over because it's looking terrible. <laughs> Yay! Okay, this is looking really bad. I'm gonna try. Oh, crap. Oh, I was so close. It would have ruined my table. Okay, I'm gonna try and give it some black. Give it a little bit of depth. Oh crap, I think I just painted my phone. It's looking alright. Like, I mean, for a first go, I mean, it's looking not half bad. I have something else here, actually. It's called Bloody Scab. Not 100% sure what it is, because I've never opened it, but <laughs> it sounds interesting. I think it just needs more blending. Oh uh, crap, that's looking even worse now. Honestly, thought this was going to take way longer. <laughs> like, I thought I'd be here for like an hour uh, doing this. And I suppose I would have if I'd done it properly. So I think I'm just going to start again. So I'm going to go again. I'm going to try and give myself a better wound this time. The last one was fine, but it was just... I don't think I made the shape properly or just placed it properly. Okay, need more Vaseline. So I don't think it looked right either. It, there was something about it that um, it was just off. It looked really fake. Apparently you can make your own nose and scar wax from flour and Vaseline, I think. I just wanted to get the proper stuff so that I'd know if I could do it or not. Okay, this is looking better. I'm going to try and blend it with the end of the knife. I know it might not look the best on camera, but uh, in my eyes it's looking it's looking good. And like it's blended a lot better than the last bit. This could mess this up now. Oh, they're too thick. Maybe a paintbrush. No, oh, I'm going to mess this up. Aren't I? Okay, blend, blend, blend is your friend. <laughs> Fake blood, it's your time to shine. If I can open you, skinny brush first. I'm gonna give it some depth first. I need some black. Where's the black? So hard with one hand. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so you just give it a bit of black in places. Just to give it a bit more depth. So that when people look into the cut, it actually feels a lot deeper than it actually is. Oh, that's actually looking really cool on camera. And here goes the blood fake blood this is looking creepy honestly it's it's actually starting to like it's nice it's not worrying me or anything like that but it's just kind of getting to the point where it's looking real and like i'm worried that i'm gonna puke into my own hand oh this actually feels really weird because there's like a part here where i can feel like when i touch the when i touch the scar i can feel it like moving my skin underneath and it, it feels like i'm actually under my own skin it's really really weird it's actually looking okay. I mean, first glance, you probably think someone's hand was ripped open, you know? Gonna give it some finishing touches now. You need to prank someone with this. Like, I'm not gonna be happy until I prank someone with this. <laughs> Maybe I could... Ooh, this looks interesting. It's like a little bit of... splatter around the cut. Yeah, I think it looks... Maybe I could put some out here too. I'll try and make it look as natural as possible, so it's like I've actually been... Trying to cover it myself with my hand to stop the bleeding. Crap. <laughs> I tried to make it look too real. If anyone was to walk into my room right now, I'd be like, Ah! No! <laughs> I actually think it looks okay for my first go. I I'm actually really happy with that. This side nothing. Turn your hand and it's like, Oh my god! What happened you, bro? Finishing touches. And now I have to go and try and freak someone out. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy until that happens. So, uh, okay. I'm going to try and scare someone. <laughs> Dad! 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 Shit, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> 
crap. <laughs> no, I really just want to walk into a shop and be like, help me, help me. I can't, though, that would absolutely freak people out, but how funny would that be? I think it looks alright. It looks okay, there's depth to it, there's, you know, there's, like, you can see the slice and stuff. Focus camera. This is probably going to be my thumbnail. Uh, uh, <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> yeah, I think it actually looks pretty cool. I think it looks cool, and I'm, I'm actually excited to be able to do this on on the film, you know? I know it's a different kind of wound and it's going to be in a different place, but uh, I think it actually looks really cool. And I want to keep it on my hand as long as I can <laughs> so that someone sees it. <laughs> but uh, I have to edit this video soon, so uh, I don't know if anyone else is going to see it. Unless the postman calls around. Hope you enjoyed. I think that's it for me for this week. Unless someone walks in the next minute or two, wipe this off and I'm going to have to start editing the video. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit different. It's really just me testing this out. It's as a proof of concept to see if I can actually do it. And now that I know I can do it, I think I'm going to try and do more stuff. And you might actually see me pranking someone with this in the near future. So you never know. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button down below. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. It would really help me out. And if you have any tips on how to improve my uh, special effects makeup game, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. Or just let me know if you enjoyed the video or not. And yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all again next Friday. Bye!